Good afternoon, everybody. It's actually Monday, January 11th, but we won't be seeing this video until sometime in February. And I have been doing some shop videos because I've been really busy, but I got a big video for everybody now. And this video is Ruined File Systems. Lately, what's been going on is because we had the power outage on Christmas Day and then recently up in parts of my viewing area there was another power outage due to some planned maintenance on the part of Eversource. I've been dealing with ruined file systems and what happens is the computer is shut down abruptly and then when it starts back up, it doesn't start back up. It usually throws a blue screen, a blue screen of death and the exact blue screen of death that it throws can vary. But it throws a blue screen of death and no matter what I do, check disk, system file checker, um, BCD repair, there's no way it can be fixed. The machine has to be completely formatted, everything backed up, the user profile backed up, everything formatted and rebuilt from scratch. It is a big job. I just got through one of my business clients rebuilding two of his machines that were ruined in the Christmas Day power outage. That was an $1,100 bill. Um, part, a lot of the reason it was so much in his case was because these things needed work after they were brought back on site. It's not as simple of a job as just formatting, reinstalling Windows and all the stuff that goes along with it. No, it needed a lot more stuff installed, network configuration, everything else. But what winds up happening is it winds up being a big job and the main lesson here and you guys have heard me say it so many times back up your stuff back up your stuff back it up even if you don't have if you don't even think you have anything important on your computer still back it up because you have windows you have all the little programs that you put on the computer. You have all the Windows settings that you've changed that make your computer yours. And even if your data is not as important to you as some, when you lose your hard drive, when it doesn't boot anymore, you lose all that customization that I just mentioned and it's it's a lot of work to get that machine back the way it was pre-accident without a backup. I'll go over this a little bit. In front of this bag you can't see it but laptop that needs to be backed up. Then we have this machine that's a brand new customer. Um, and it's a business computer. I've yet to find out what business. I'm actually going to be finding that out later on today because I need to make sure in her case that I have everything and that, and that there's no surprises waiting. This is a business computer. Everything was running great. Power goes out. Boom. Ruined file system. That makes three machines that are like that. This laptop over here 
Um, don't know if I talked about this one yet. This belongs to one of my other business clients. And he was using it, and it was running poorly, and guess what? Ruined file system. Bad hard drive. Had to re gonna, I, I replaced the hard drive. I've added a second hard drive internally to this laptop. Yeah, some laptops you can do that. It's not common, but this is one of the ones where you can do it. I did that. I've gotten Windows installed. I'm actually waiting for Drive Savers to finish the data recovery for this. Um, and then when that comes back, I'm going to put the recovered material back on and set up a backup system on this machine so this doesn't happen again. Uh, one other thing I need to mention, when these file systems get ruined, some newer computers have the Windows license built into them. And Windows doesn't ask me for a license key in this case. A lot of these older machines don't have Windows built into them. And Hang on one second, I have to kind of fight the auto, there we go. The autofocus doesn't want, didn't want to work. I got it fixed. Um, with, on these older machines, Windows doesn't have the license built into the BIOS, so, and people tend to lose their license keys. So a lot of times I have to buy you a Windows license key, and that's another $130. And when you have to get these file systems rebuilt, it adds up real quick. So, back up, back up, back up. And please don't be afraid to contact me and ask any questions. Contact information is always at the beginning of the video. As always, feel free to rate, comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. See you soon. Bye-bye.